okay, on this example, we get really deep into the, the formal position and velocity vectors during a projectile flight. So it's a way of kind of combining two major ideas. So we're going to have a projectile flight that looks something like this. And after the first question, we start to really get into the, the details of the kinematics. So let's just knock out that first question. Um, the velocity components of the launch. So the x component is going to be 60 cosine of 40. And I get for that approximately 46. And we're asked to use three sig figs of so 46.0 meters per second. The y component It's going to be a 60 sine 40, and for that, I get approximately 38.6 meters per second. So there's our answers for that. So V naught X is 46.0, and V naught Y is 38.6. And part A is done. And of course, that's just a really typical calculation that you would do at the beginning of basically any projectile motion problem. All right, next we're asked to actually get the equations of motion for the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So x of t is going to be x naught plus v naught x t. And there's no acceleration in the x direction, so I don't have the acceleration term. I should indicate then I'm going to consider the launch point to be the origin, so x naught will be 0. And I end up with 46.0 times t. y of t is going to be y naught, again 0, plus v naught y t minus a 1 half gt squared. So that gives me. 38.6 t minus 4.9 t squared. All right, so these equations are telling you the x and y coordinate as a function of time for every single point on this flight. So these two components can be used to build the position vector. And the position vector is a vector that points from the origin to the location of the object, so the object's here, I suppose, at any moment in time. So here's two position vectors pointing to the object at two different moments in time. And I'm just going to imagine, because we're asked about average velocity from t equals 1 to t equals 2, um, these are not even qualitatively correct, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to write that this is the position vector at one second into the flight and here at two seconds into the flight. All right, so let's write down that position vector. Whoops. We have R of T in general is given by the equation for the X coordinate I hat plus the equation of motion for the Y coordinate J hat. And I can plug in and I get 46.0 t i hat plus a 38.6 t minus 4.9 t squared j hat. So that describes this rotating and lengthening vector that's pointing to the position of the object at every moment in time. All right, finally, I want to get the average velocity. And the average velocity vector is going to be a change in the position vector divided by how much time has gone by. And that's the position vector evaluated at t equals 2 minus the position vector evaluated at t equals 1, all divided by 2 minus 1 seconds. So we have to evaluate r of 2 and r of 1 by plugging in t equals 2 everywhere in here, and then plugging in t equals 1 everywhere in there. 
and then take the vector difference. So what I got for r of 2, so I just plugged in t equals 2 into this, and I got 92 i hats plus 57.6 j hat. r of 1, I got 46 i hat plus 33.7. All right, so both J hat. So both of these position vectors, they point up and to the right, which makes a lot of sense considering the context of the pro of the problem. So then I have to take the difference, which means I go 92 minus 46 I hat. So then, and that's going to be my delta R. So I have 46 I hat left over. And then in my Y coordinate, I have 57.6 minus 33.7, which is 23.9. J hat. Okay, then I take delta R and divide by delta T, which is just one second. Um, the coefficients up here have units of meters and down here seconds, so I'm going to put them in at the very end. So down here I have 46 meters per second. I hat plus 23.9 meters per second. J hat and that's actually telling me so R of 2 minus R of 1 is a vector that points from this position to this position and so if I draw that vector it would have the same direction as the average velocity from t equals 1 to t equals 2 but not necessarily the same length so I'm just going to draw the velocity vector separately and say it definitely points in that direction That's my V average on the interval 1 to 2.